My name is Jeff Doman, and I'm a partner at Gorenson Bain Oslo. If I had to say one thing that set me apart from other practitioners, it's that I feel like I connect with my clients on an emotional level when they come in and have questions about family law and divorce. So often people are overwhelmed with questions and issues and concerns. And I try and take each and every client through the entire process, kind of like a buffet. I lay out for them all of their options that they can choose from and then help them come up with a game plan that suits their needs and their desires so they feel like everything they're doing is helping them get closer to their desired result. The most common question I get before a client hires me when considering other attorneys is, what sets you apart from everybody else? And I say, listen, the two of us are gonna go through this process together. We're gonna come up with a game plan together. We're gonna to walk through strategies together and we're gonna use your passion and your knowledge with my experience and expertise to help them formulate a game plan and execute so that they get their desired results at the end of the litigation. One of the best questions that I like to answer for my client that I think sets me apart from others is when clients come to me and say, Jeff, what can I do to help me win my case or get the desired result that I want out of my case? And that leads me right into one of the things that I love about family law. I love family law because you have the ability to create your own evidence throughout the entire process. So often your actions through communications, through text messages or emails, those are all the bits of evidence that are eventually going to be used at trial. And what I like to do is really work with my clients about projecting not only something that is gonna end with a positive result, result in trial, but also is gonna end in a positive result in co-parenting and raising children. And I think that produces a win-win situation for my clients. So often people come to me and say, I have a list of questions and I'm okay with that. I wanna answer their questions. But I think it's also good for the client to ask the lawyer, what do I need to be doing to give me the best opportunity to succeed? Because so often we describe or define su success in different ways. But when the client is asking what they need to be doing to give them the best chance of success, that's when a lawyer really gets to have an impression on the client and the long-term success at the end of the issue. Absolutely. There is a saying that was very popular when I was at law school. A good lawyer knows the law. A great lawyer knows the judge. And I think that's very practical in family law because so many of the issues that get presented to judges have to do with that judge's perspective on a parenting issue. When the lawyer knows the judge and knows the judge intimately, a lot of times they can narrow down exactly what a judge might say on any given topic that comes in front of them. What is going to happen or how can I ensure that my children are safe when I leave them with my spouse who is a known alcoholic. They oftentimes recite stories to me of how when the children were being raised, even if the spouse was drinking, they were present and always had the children's best interest in mind. However, once there's a divorce, you have the issue that arises where one parent or one spouse might have to leave the children in the care and control of the other spouse. And without a way to monitor if that other spouse is sober or drinking or being responsible when it comes to dealing with the kids is a major concern. And that's where I think Soberlink comes in. And that's why Soberlink has done a great job to give peace of mind to clients who have a spouse that might be struggling with addiction or alcohol. Soberlink allows that individual parent to make sure they at least know the other spouse is not drinking or hasn't been drinking alcohol when they're taking care of the children. 
question that I get is, what can I do to make sure my spouse is being safe with the children when I'm concerned about them drinking or consuming alcohol? I believe it's important to make sure any lawyer that you're considering hiring for your family law matter needs to understand the intricacies and the details and how Soberlink can actually help offer peace of mind when you have to release your children into the care of a ex-spouse or soon-to-be ex-spouse who you have concerns might be drinking alcohol or have an addiction or might be making decisions that aren't in the children's best interest. I think Soberlink is a wonderful device to assist clients in monitoring their soon-to-be ex when it comes to caring for the children. Soberlink has the ability, number one, to see if a drinking has occurred in the past. It has the ability to notify the court, the lawyer, and the other spouse if alcohol is currently being consumed. And other options that come with Soberlink is the ability to offer accountability. You might be a spouse that swears up and down that they've given up drinking, that you have become sober and you wanna to prove to the court and to the lawyers and to your soon to be ex-spouse that alcohol isn't an issue anymore. Well, Soberlink is the vehicle to do that. Soberlink can help you assist with peace of mind when the other spouse has care of the children, but it can also be used as a way to prove that you haven't been drinking and that you no longer are under the bondage of alcohol. In my orders that involve alcohol addiction or consumption, we oftentimes require a parent who is going to obtain custody of their children to submit to a Soberlink test prior to getting possession of the children. This creates our baseline, so we know that that parent has not or is not drinking alcohol when they start their time with the children. Then Soberlink kicks into gear and starts requiring tests at set intervals, sometimes between four and eight hours at a time, to make sure the parent doesn't begin drinking alcohol when they're with the children. If there is alcohol consumption, or if alcohol is consumed while that parent is taking care of the children, the spouse not in control of the children and the lawyers can immediately be notified that there's a problem. And that's when you can swoop in and grab the children and make sure that they are safe from somebody who is drinking alcohol and shouldn't be drinking alcohol. With alcohol consumption and addiction being as prevalent in society as it is today, it is extremely important for lawyers to know the ins and outs and how Soberlink can help them and their clients when alcohol is an issue in a custody case or in a divorce. If you wanna be an expert in something and you wanna give your clients peace of mind about how they can maintain a safe and healthy environment for the children, take a look at Soberlink. It has so many things to offer the lawyer, the client, and the court to help whenever alcohol is an issue.